Hello and welcome to the MSU School of Journalism Awards Convocation. I'm Reagan Holgate. And I'm Darren Baydoon. We're coming to you live from the Communication Arts and Sciences Building on MSU's campus. And down the hall in the Spartan Newsroom, I'm Shade Moore. And I'm Katie Schroeder. On the other side of the newsroom live is Taylor Gatoni. She will be introducing us to some of the student winners tonight. Let's kick off tonight's awards convocation program with the director of the School of Journalism, Dr. Tim Voss. Hello, I'm Tim Voss, the director of the School of Journalism at Michigan State University. On behalf of the school, welcome to this convocation event. We're here to hand out awards and scholarships to dozens of deserving students. Thanks to the Focal Point News crew for making this event possible. You know, a convocation is supposed to be a huge gathering of people uh, where we honor individuals. Unfortunately, we can't do that in one place this year, but we can do this virtually. You know, we're gonna meet a bunch of students here who are representative of the incredible student body we have in the School of Journalism. These students are representative of the instructors and instruction that make the School of Journalism as great as it is. And these students a representative of Spartan's will. Let's turn it over to our student host to get this convocation underway. Thank you, Dr. Voss. I'm Taylor Gatoni, and I'm live here in another part of the Spartan newsroom. Throughout the night, I'll be sitting down with some of our scholarship and award winners. But first, let's head about 50 feet away where you see those bright lights in the front of the newsroom to start the main event. We start with the Investigative Journalism Scholarship in memory of CBS News and 60 Minutes correspondent Ed Bradley. This award was started by Margie Bauman, an MSU J School alum who worked with Bradley in the mid-1970s as a writer at CBS News. Bauman wanted to give back and inspire future journalists, so she created the scholarship to help current students while recognizing a renowned journalist. This year, there are two recipients. Joe Fryhofer is the first winner of the Investigative Journalism Scholarship in memory of CBS News correspondent Ed Bradley. Joe says his career highlights include winning first in the nation as sports talent from the Broadcast Education Association and winning first place in the National Hearst Awards in the Fe Features competition. Reagan second winner and her career highlights at MSU include placing first in the Broadcast Education Association's national competition in the short feature reporting category. This summer, Reagan will be a digital media intern for the United States Golf Association in Far Hills, New Jersey. Here's what faculty has to say about these two Bradley Scholarship winners. Congratulations to Reagan Holgate for winning the Bradley Scholarship for Investigative Journalism. I think that's a fantastic honor. You are very thoughtful and very thorough in class with your journalism and that always will take you far. So congratulations and best wishes. Is it, I'm starting? I'm you, starting. Okay. Hey Joe, every time you, uh, let me start again. Joe Fryhofer. Yeah. Joe Fryhofer, from the moment you stepped into my office that first couple weeks of school as you were a freshman to ask me how you could get involved all the way up to uh, Jern 403 when you turned in a model train story. I knew you were going to be a, a great storyteller and, a, and just a, a, an amazing journalist. Uh, we're really, really excited to see where you've come and how much you've accomplished in the last few years. It's been a great eight years having you here. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. Uh, Joe, you're amazing storyteller. And, and uh, you know, it seems like every story you do now, uh, it'll be a, a contender for the next national award. So uh, keep that up. Have fun uh, in Spain. In Spain. Yeah. Uh, and I wish I could say something in Spanish for you. I cannot. I just will wish you good luck. And then when you come back here, you're going to uh, just kill it with the TV stations. We just can't wait to see how, f how, how much you learn over there in Spain and, and what, what great things are to come. And uh, don't worry, Mike and I, we're going to miss you, but Mike and I are planning on crashing on your couch in Barcelona maybe next spring. Mm -hmm. First month. Oh, first month. Yeah. <laughs> now for the Len Barnes AAA Michigan Fund Award. This award was started by the Auto Club Insurance Association. It honors Len Barnes, a J School alum who spent his career making Michigan Living one of the most respected travel journals. 
This year, there are three recipients. Jonas Cottrell says his proudest career moments are being a social media and outreach intern for the MSU Department of Physiology and studying abroad in China in 2019. Taylor Halterman is the second winner and her achievements include winning the Don Caldwell Memorial Scholarship in Environmental Journalism as well as being a Mary Gardner Scholar. Indri Malidar Mal is the third winner. She is proud of her achievements as being a winner of the Kyle C. Kerbaway Graduate Student Research Award and a Fulbright Scholar. Here's what faculty have to say about these three Barnes Award winners. Congrats on your scholarship and research awards. Indri Maladar fell in love with journalism at the age of 11, and she came to MSU to reconnect with journalism on a deeper level. She is now serving that journalism community by creating a resource on how to report on natural disasters and also supporting the mental well being of journalists. Her drive for not only purpose, but also her love of the understanding of the way things work, including the why, will ensure that her impressive contributions will continue beyond MSU. A big congratulations to Jonas Cottrell for being the recipient of this prestigious scholarship. Jonas excelled academically during his first year as a master's student, demonstrating tremendous scholarly potential. I look forward to continue working with him in the future. Talk about fish tales. Taylor Helterman has a boatload of them, and they're all true. As a reporter for Great Lakes Echo, Taylor has made fish research and the restoration of fish habitat a specialty of her reporting. As a native youper, Taylor has a bias for reporting on Michigan's Upper Peninsula. And as an undergraduate research fellow, she produced a video on how to write about research for the public that's so good that the Knight Center will use it in its online classes. Congratulations, Taylor. Next, we have the Edward A. Augenstein Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship was started to honor the memory and work of Edward Augenstein, who was the press room manager at the Capitol for 35 years. Augenstein's son created this award to help students achieve their educational and professional goals. This year, there is one recipient. Chloe Trofeter says her career highlights include being the communications chair for the MSU Women's Rugby Football Club and the communications chair for Pay It Forward Tours which helps students to plan community service spring break trips. Here's what faculty have to say about this year's Augenstein Scholarship winners. Congratulations to Chloe Trofeter for receiving these prestigious scholarships. Chloe is an excellent visual storyteller, often tackling stories that are deeply personal for her. Chloe will be joining us for her master's degree while she's finishing her undergraduate degree, and I'm super excited to see what it is she will produce for her master's thesis and or project. Once again, Chloe, congratulations. We're so excited to have you here. Tonight, we are honoring five students with the Mary Adelaide Gardner Scholarship. This fund was established with a gift by the late Dr. Mary Adelaide Gardner, a legendary journalism professor at MSU from 1966 to 1991. These scholarships pay full or partial tuition costs for one academic year for a full-time ju junior or a full-time incoming master's student. Our first honoree is Danielle James. Danielle is a proud recipient of the Don and Catherine Dahlstrom Award in Environmental Journalism and also received the Glenn and Thelma Buell Scholarship. Some of her proudest moments were seeing her byline on the front page of the Sioux News, being chose, cho chosen as a Spartan Ski Club officer, and of course, winning this Mary Gardner scholarship. Let's toss it out to Taylor, who is standing by with Danielle James. Thanks guys, and congratulations, Danielle. You know, you have a lot of experience on your resume, but let's touch on the Capitol News Service and one of your favorite stories that you've covered for them. Yeah, thank you so much. I would say, you know, my absolute favorite story was actually the first one I did. I covered coastal erosion along the Great Lakes, and I was actually able to see that published in Great Lakes Echo and on the front page of the Sioux News, which was super exciting for me to walk in and see that. Okay, now moving on, you know, you are a senior, but you're taking that extra year. Why are you taking this extra year, and what are you hoping to do with that to improve your skills for the future? Yeah, I'm actually double minoring in environmental sustainability and also media photography. So I'm hoping to use this time to kind of improve those skills as well as gain some more byland, hopefully. 
Awesome. Well, congratulations again and back to you guys at the desk. Hey, Reagan, I saw you up there on that list of winners. Congratulations on the scholarship. Thank you, Darren. It truly is an honor, and I couldn't be more grateful for everyone here at the School of Journalism. This next award was established in memory of Andre A. Blay. Blay earned both his BA and MBA from MSU and went on to be a giant in the entertainment industry. This year, seven students have been awarded the Andre Blay Film Scholarship. Congratulations, Ari Adler, Shayla French, Colin Higgins, Jennifer Lacunas, Harrison Orwig, Sophia Shirley, and Denver Williams. The first winner, Ari Adler, had made two short films since arriving at MSU and attended his first ever football game after transferring to Michigan State. Shayla French's accomplishments include being the co-chair of MSU's North American Indigenous Student Organization, as well as the co-founder of the Detroit Native Youth Advisory Council. Colin Higgins is a media and information major with a fiction filmmaking minor. He plans to move to L.A. after graduation and possibly pursue his MFA degree. Up next, Jennifer Lacutis is a student in MSU's Honors College, and her stellar grades have landed her on the Dean's List. She plans to work as a screenwriter and director in Hollywood and eventually open her own production company to inspire other female filmmakers. Blay winner Harrison Orwig served as a teaching assistant for the course Story Sound in Motion and is a primary educator in MSU Telecasters. Sophia Shirley is also involved with MSU Telecasters as both their web director and associate producer. If that wasn't enough, she also serves as the audio production director at Impact 89 FM. Last but certainly not least is Denver Williams, a journalism major with a creative writing minor who plans to work in the film and television field. Congratulations to you all. Here's Professor Amal Pavangadakar with a tribute. Congratulations to Ari Adler, Shayla French, Colin Higgins, Jennifer Laconis, Harrison Orvig, Sophia Shirley, and Denver Williams for receiving the inaugural Andre Blay Film Scholarships. We would like to appreciate and recognize your efforts and hard work in our film courses. Wishing you the very best and hope this inspires you to constantly excel. Congratulations again. Now for the Ellen L. and Clyde L. Burton Endowed Scholarship in Journalism. Both Ellen and Clyde Burton were distinguished faculty members at MSU. Ellen in Journalism and Clyde in the Department of Botany and Plant Pathology. This year, there are four recipients. Rachel Hitchcock is the first winner, and her achievements include being a contributing photographer to the American Reimagined Project, documenting changes across daily life in America, and being a photographer for Vim Magazine. Nora Mogerbell is the second winner. She outlines her achievements as getting accepted into the Master of Journalism program and being a first-generation college graduate. Sue Shin is the third winner, and her proudest moments at MSU include being the AEJMC first place student paper winner and a journalist, staff editor, and columnist in South Korea. Shou Zan is the fourth winner, and her career highlights include being a PhD student and helping to plan an event for incoming PhD students so they would feel welcome during the pandemic. Here's what faculty have to say about these award winners. Nora, just in her first semester of our graduate program, is already making her mark. In my visual journalism seminar, Nora has managed to teach her professor and fellow students a great deal about the grace, elegance, humanity, and passion she finds in the visual representation of athletes. Often fairly quiet, she can be funny, incredibly insightful, and remarkably manages to find sports analogies to almost any topic we touch upon. Nora is a great addition to the J School family. Congratulations, Nora. Sue Young Shin to me has so many rare qualities. She has a strong drive to learn and a desire to create meaning through her work. Even though she has not graduated, she has already proved to be a great researcher, teacher, collaborator, and person. Congrats on earning this scholarship award. I am so happy for you. It's my pleasure to introduce Shu Zan to you. Uh, this is her very first semester with us. She came to us uh, from China and Hong Kong. Um, she was for a number of years um, employed uh, as a marketing analyst, a product designer, an advertiser, and entrepreneur. And she also did her MA in creative media at University of the City University of Hong Kong. I had the pleasure of having 
show in my um, experimental class this semester where she's doing a very interesting study of what motivates people to feel uh, comfortable chatting in um, chat groups. So over the long haul, what she really wants to look at is how media conditions influence people to participate, be motivated. Congratulations, Shell. Rachel's Plan B professional project, tentatively titled, Those Who Told the Story, the Journalists Behind the Headlines of the USA Gymnastics Sex Abuse Scandal, promises to be a stunning report on a timely and difficult subject. Rachel was one of our best and brightest undergraduate students and is now one of our top graduate students. Her thoughtfulness, smile, humility, keen inquisitiveness, intelligence, and empathy make an indelible impression. Congratulations, Rachel. Next, we have the Don Caldwell Memorial Scholarship in Environmental Journalism. This scholarship was started to honor Don Caldwell, a 1981 journalism graduate. After graduating, Cal Caldwell gave two years of service in the Peace Corps in Swaziland. Don enjoyed a successful career as a journalist in television and radio. Robert and Charlotte Caldwell, Don's parents, created this award to honor the memory of their son. This year, there are two recipients. Chioma Lewis says their proudest career moments include winning this very scholarship, winning the Rachel Carson for Outstanding Graduate Student in Environmental Journalism Award, and producing the Never Easy podcast in San Jose, California. Taylor Halterman was already recognized for the Len Barnes Service Award. Congratulations once again to Taylor. Here's what faculty said about Chioma. I am very happy to introduce Chioma Lewis as the recipient of this year's Don Caldwell Memorial Scholarship. Despite the challenges of online learning, Chioma has excelled in all of her graduate classes and produced high quality scholarship. Congratulations, Chioma. Now for the Capital News Service, Bill Cote Endowed Scholarship. This scholarship is in honor of Bill Cote, who worked full time for the journalism school and ran Capital News Service until his retirement in 2002. There are two recipients this year. Aaron Ho says that their career achievements include covering Senate hearings and being a reporter for Great Lakes Echo. Ho is also working on dual degrees, a bachelor in journalism and a bachelor in animal science with a concentration in pre-vet. Sophia Lada is a reporter for the Capitol News Service and the Spartan Newsroom and also won the John H. Krieg Memorial Scholarship. Here's what faculty have to say about these two Capitol News Service and Bill Cote endowed scholarship recipients. Sophia Lada is a correspondent for Capital News Service this semester. Her stories have included women legislators in Michigan, what's happening to the waste material from beer brewing, and what's happening to suicide rates in the state. Erin Ho is going places. She has concentrations in photojournalism and pre-vet animal science. Erin is braiding together her love for animals, science, visuals, and hard work. Erin wants to do wildlife conservation journalism and fight poaching and wildlife crimes. Her goal is to go places for National Geographic. Erin edits and posts classmates' content for our Capital News Service. Fun fact, Erin is also an award-winning painter. Next, we have the Capital News Service Connections Awards. These awards are given to students who have done exceptional work in Capital News Service. Capital News Service is an online publication through MSU Spartan Newsroom where reporters cover every aspect of state government and the Lansing community. This year, there are five recipients. The first recipient, Brandon Chu, came to MSU after graduating from North Central Michigan College. His favorite book is the autobiography of Malcolm X. Sheldon Krauss is the second winner and one of his highlights at MSU is working as a freelance reporter for the Detroit News. Sheldon came to MSU to pursue law, but since switched to journalism because he felt there is a better potential for him to make a difference in the world. Elaine Mallon is the third winner and her MSU career highlights include having an article of hers featured in the Detroit News and another article featured in Family and Farm magazine. Christia Postema is the fourth winner and her proudest achievements include writing an article that was featured in the Grand Rapids Business Journal and making the Dean's List. 
Kirsten Rintelman is the fifth winner, and she says her career highlights would include working as a staff writer for Capital News Service and attending MSU, her dream university. Here's what faculty have to say about these five Capital News Service Award winners. Chu has written about the water temperature deep in Lake Michigan and the atmospheric conditions above it that can produce tsunamis at its surface. Stories he reported for Capital News Service include organ donors, domestic violence, low-paid interpreters, energy-intensive industries, and murder hornets. Congratulations, Brandon. Elaine Mallon, who is from Missouri but adapted well to Michigan as a Capital News Service correspondent, she's written about the future of abandoned school buildings as Michigan's high school population shrinks, the growing diversity efforts by some private colleges in the state, and the future of civilian review boards overseeing police activity in several Michigan communities. I'm pleased to introduce Kirsten Rintelman, a Capital News Service correspondent. This semester, her stories dealt with a range of issues, including historic lighthouse preservation, land conservancy, and one of my favorites, a rabbit disease that may be spreading to Michigan. Tia Postuma this semester in Capital News Service has written about the shortage of skilled trade workers, the need for school districts to accommodate special education children who have been set back by studying at home during the pandemic, and the special burdens that social workers are facing in prisons working with inmates in an atmosphere with a great deal of COVID-19. As a CNS correspondent, Shell Krause has taken a variety of issues, including the new Interior Secretary of the United States, the use of solar panels on farms, and the future of charter fishing in the age of COVID-19. Next, we have the Eric Friedman Mayor Award for Environmental Journalism and Capital News Service. Eric Friedman is a professor in the School of Journalism and the director of the MSU Knight Center for Environmental Journalists and Capital News Service. This award aims to encourage students in exploring careers in public affairs and environmental journalism. There is one recipient. Zoldas Artisbaev's proudest career moments include winning this award we are presenting today, working as a Capital News Service reporter in the Detroit Free Press picking up and publishing their reported stories. Here's what faculty have to say about the Eric Friedman Merit Award for Environmental Journalism and Capital News Service recipient. Okay. Master's student Zoldas Arispaev came to MSU from Kazakhstan where he's been working as a journalist. His master's project this semester is looking at how journalists in his country can deal with the problems of misinformation and fake news. Now we have the Rachel Carson for Outstanding Graduate Student in Environmental Journalism Award. This award is named after environmentalist and author Rachel Carson. This award is given to top graduate students in environmental journalism. Tiama Lewis is this year's winner and we've already seen her once tonight, winning the Caldwell Award. Congrats once again to Chioma. Now we have the Edward J. Meeman Award for Outstanding Undergraduate Student in Environmental Journalism. This was named after environmental journalist Edward Meeman. There is one recipient. Lillian Young outlines her career highlights at MSU as being the founder of MSU CyberView, an undergraduate science journal, and having a minor in the STEP program. Here's what faculty have to say about Young. Lillian Young came into our environmental reporting class last semester as a human biology major with an interest in science writing. She had no journalism experience, but came out as a star. Among her interesting stories were one on the 1940 Armistice Day uh, storm that shipwrecked vessels in Lake Michigan, uh, outdoor recreation during the COVID pandemic, microplastics, and another disease yet to worry about, Lyme disease. And to wrap up the Knight Center for Environmental Journalism Awards, Taylor Haltenick. You've heard her name a couple of times already. She's also won the Knight Center Service Award. 
This award goes to a student who has been affiliated with the Knight Center and has made outstanding contributions to environmental journalism at MSU. Congrats once again to Taylor Halterman. Hannah Brock is the second Mary Adelaide Gardner Scholarship winner. Some of her favorite college moments was doing a reporting internship for MLive.com, being a J School research assistant and also a state news reporter. Professor Manuel Chavez introduces us to Hannah. Today I am introducing to you Ms. Hannah Brock uh, with a lot of pride because I have been working with her for almost four years since she was a freshman. Uh, Ms. Brock uh, won uh, two scholarships, the Mary Gardner Scholarship of the School of Journalism and the College of Communications, Arts and Sciences, Glenn and Thelma Bull Scholarship. Congratulations to you and remember Hannah, this is the beginning. Congratulations, I'm very proud. I'm here live now with Hannah. Now Hannah, we were just talking that some of your most memorable moments with your internship with MLive, and even doing research with Dr. Chavez. Now, how have those two experiences helped you grow as a journalist? Well, with Dr. Chavez, who has mentored me pretty much my entire time I've been here, um, I research a lot of crisis, and obviously we're in a little bit of a crisis right <laughs> now with the coronavirus pandemic. So um, doing some in-depth reporting with MLive's statewide team and then combining that with my research knowledge, it's just honestly so beneficial, and I, I love it. And obviously being in a pandemic, those are some hard times, but you know, right. winning this money is something to feel good about. How is this scholarship going to help benefit you in the future? I mean, when I got the news about it, I was completely speechless for <laughs> about 20 minutes. I couldn't talk. Um, it was awesome. My family was so happy. I'm so thankful to them. Um, it's just really important that I'll get to use this towards my master's education and eventually becoming an investigative journalist. So I'm, I'm very thankful. Well, congratulations and best of luck with your master's degree. Back to you at the desk. Susan Carter started our next scholarship in loving honor of her mother, Jane, to benefit worthy and capable students at the J School. Jane J. Carter valued education, superior news reporting, and the quest for knowledge. And this year's winner is Julian Stainback. Julian's highlights at MSU include producing for Focal Point News and being an award winner for the Michigan Association of Broadcast News. Here's what faculty have to say about Julian. Julian Stainbeck, boy, I tell you, you have really taken Focal Point News, our newscast, and become the king of social media. You are a senior producer. It's just amazing what you do every week, and we're so proud of you. You know, w I've seen you grow from back in the 200 level class all the way up to focal point. You've taken it several times because you wanted to learn more and be a, a better producer. And man, you've really come into your own and you've just done so much work uh, and really taken on a great leadership role. We're really proud of you. 90 things on your plate and you're looking for the 91st. <laughs> Congratulations, Julian. Keep it up. Up next, we have the Michael and Sandra Clark Scholarship. Michael and Sandra Clark both obtained their degrees from MSU. Michael received his PhD from the College of Education, and Sandra got her master's in history from the College of Arts and Letters. The two were deeply concerned about science education and coverage of future environmental issues. This award supports students pursuing a career covering science and the environment. This year, there are two recipients. Clara Moore's proudest moments as a Spartan are working as a reporter for the State News powering through a semester interrupted by COVID-19 to obtain her bachelor's and being accepted into the master's program with the School of Journalism. Leanne Tiffany is a PhD student and research assistant studying the intersection of science, journalism, and public relations. Leanne is also a producer and editor for Keller Communications, Inc. in Bluebell, Pennsylvania. Claire Moore holds the record for taking the most Knight Center environmental or science classes. And that's not because she couldn't pass them. Rather, it's because Claire is more than a bit of a science nerd. She even had an internship at NASA to prove it. And that proved to be a useful connection. Among her many and diverse stories, Claire once wrote about how NASA satellites are tracking the growth of uh, toxic algae throughout the Great Lakes region. When we here at the Knight Center, we've enjoyed tracking Claire's progress 
as a fine science journalist. Congratulations, Claire. Leanne Tiffany is a third year doctoral student. She is a double major actually in information and media and environmental science and policy. She is, as um, you may know, an expert in the area of wildlife conservation. She really is trying to understand in her research how um, conservation reporters become credible. I had her in my experimental class this semester and she's doing a brilliant experiment looking at the features of environmental reporters that lead people to trust them, want to give money to their organizations, and so on. Leanne, congratulations. William E. Costabile worked as a sports writer for the State News and the LSJ as a student. After graduating in 74, he worked in radio for eight years before becoming a business analyst. Despite the change in career, he found his editing and photojournalism classes were an immense help and his degree opened many doors. This year, there are two recipients. Our first recipient is Wendy Guzman. Her proudest moments as a Spartan include winning the Associated College Press Story of the Year Award for environmental reporting and being a winner of a Michigan Press Association Award. The next recipient, Drew Reynolds, accomplishments include being a board member for the State News and working as a multimedia creator for the Spartan Newsroom. Here's what faculty have to say about Wendy and Drew. Count on Wendy Guzman. Wendy is a data reporter with the State News and is passionate about the threat of numbers and visuals in storytelling. She has experience covering education and politics and aspires to become a business reporter people can count on. Fun fact. In her first year with the State News, Wendy became its most read writer and won awards from the Associated College Press and the Michigan Press Association. Congratulations to Drew Reynolds for receiving multiple awards this year from the School of Journalism. It's been an absolute delight to have her in my photojournalism and documentary photography classes, and I have no doubt that Drew is going to take these awards and create great things through the support. Drew, once again, congratulations. And now we feature this year's Outstanding master student, Tasha Bass. Besides winning this award, she also has been named a Kappa Tau Alpha Top Graduate Scholar. More on that later. She's also a law school graduate who loves comedy, law, writing, and hopes to someday win an Emmy for Outstanding Writing for a Variety Series. Professor Rachel Morrell tells us a little bit about Tasia. I am extremely grateful to present this year's outstanding MA student, Tasia Bass. Tasia has been truly outstanding in both her MA uh, skills classes and research seminars, and her final hybrid project shows just that. It's been an honor to learn from and with Tasia in the past two years. Congratulations. Now we've got an empty seat here because Tasha could not join us live, but she did send us a video to accept her award. Hello, hello. I am so excited to be here today to accept this Emmy in regards to all of my amazing, what? This is not the Emmy? Then what is it? Outstanding Master Student Award. Oh, thank God, that's so much better. Hello. I just wanted to say thank you so much for this award. I don't think of today as only a celebration of my accomplishments, but a celebration of all of those who supported me along the way. To my parents, to my professors, and to my friends, thank you. I was able to accomplish a lot these past couple of years, but only because you believed in me. To Professor Heimler, Dr. Boston, and Dr. Moreau, Thank you for always finding a little glimmer of hope in some of my crazier ideas. I was able to write some amazing articles and do great projects because you trusted in the chaos. And to my parents, I know I worried you a little bit when I said I was getting a master's in journalism after law school, but I was able to flourish these past couple of years because you trusted that I knew what I was doing. So to everyone, thank you. Now we move to the Dana Creasy Award. This scholarship was established in the memory of Dana Creasy, a journalism doctoral student who was a positive influence on both students and faculty. 
This year's Dana Creasy Scholarship goes to Apoorva Joshi. Apoorva's achievements include being an outstanding doctoral student, winning the Mickey L. Edwardson Endowed Scholarship and this Dana Creasy Scholarship. We'll hear more from Apoorva along with faculty response later in the show. Our next award is the Donald F. and Catherine F. Dahlstrom Scholarship. Both Donald and Catherine received their degrees from MSU before long and successful careers in journalism at various papers around the state. The two have been longtime Capital News Service supporters and are, are also committed to preserving and protecting the environment. We honor three recipients tonight. Kyle Davidson is the first recipient, and his accomplishments include being a Mary Adelaide Gardner Scholarship winner and a Kappa Tau Alpha inductee. And we've already heard about the next two winners, Danielle James and Sophia Lada. Here's what faculty had to say about Danielle and Kyle. Danielle James was a CNS correspondent. This semester, she's been a research assistant exploring the history of Capital News Service, which celebrates its 40th anniversary this year. She's done a presentation, updated our Wikipedia entry, and is working on a research paper. Kyle Davidson, your work with Great Lakes Echo makes you an ideal candidate for one of the three winners of this year's Don and Catherine Dahlstrom Award in Environmental Journalism. Your willingness to tackle hard topics and decomplicate them for everyday readers is a hallmark of a great environmental journalist. Congratulations. Even with the year of the pandemic, our students have come shining through with awards from local, regional, and national contests, including Station of the Year from the Michigan Association of Broadcasters. Our broadcast news and sports students have won more than 70 awards for their work this year, including national, regional, and state awards. Other contest winners are from the Society for News Design and the Michigan Press Association. We honor all of our award winners now. Hi everyone, my name is Bob Gould and I teach broadcast excuse me, journalism. Excuse and me, I have a special yes, delivery. I'm trying to do something here. Uh, for yeah, special delivery are? for, I'm Mike Kessel, oh, Mike. Uh, yeah. working for Amazon today. Uh, special <laughs> delivery for uh, Ian Gilmore. Ian Gilmore, yes, I was trying to get to this point that Ian has won quite a few awards in the last few weeks in our video contest. So congratulations, Ian. I'm not We'd done. like to thank. I'm not done. Yes. Uh, I have another special delivery and the winner is Sam Britton. Sam Britton, yes. Uh, I'm trying to get to this, you know, okay. So Sam, yes, you've won quite a few. He's won quite a few awards as well. And I'm just uh, so excited to, to you know, see these guys do one, really. One minute. Um, I've got a special yes, delivery, another one, the final one uh, for Joe Fryhoff. Joe Fryhofer, yes, Joe has won a, a, a lot of awards too, probably more than anybody. A um, National Hearst Award, uh, SPJ Awards, BEA Awards. MAB Awards, all yeah. three. It's been pretty impressive. And uh, I'll tell you, uh, that adds up to about 49 awards between the two, three of them. Just incredible. And yeah. we're really proud of you three. C couldn't be prouder. Congratulations, you guys. It's really a job well done. 
All right, now we're here with you three musketeers with all this bling. Look at that. Now we'll try to make this quick. Joe, I know you're in the middle of an exam right now. Are you a little bit stressed <laughs> about that? Yeah, jeez. The timing <laughs> of this could not be better. Wow. All right, well, let's start with this. You two being seniors, looking back at your past four years here, what are some of the best accomplishments that you've had at Michigan State? I'm just going to say it, farm lane walk sign. I think that was an important <laughs> piece of culture for this campus, and I'm glad that I got to tell that story. Honestly, I would say overall how far the show has come. All the live shots that we're doing now, the production quality, even right here. We've got a full-on studio set up in the newsroom. Um, this show has gone miles, and I think with the kids that are coming up in the ranks, like this guy here, <laughs> you're going to see more of these for years to come. All right, now, Gilmore, let me send it to you. You've got one more year left. How are you planning on just helping the rest of the journalism school grow? I don't know. I'm just glad these guys are going to be out of the way, so maybe I can <laughs> take first place in something eventually. But... No, uh, it's like they say, the growth and since I've got here has been amazing and meeting guys like this and it, it's been great. So I'm glad I got one more year, year to go and I don't have to go find a job like these guys. Oh yeah, it's a little bit stressful. <laughs> okay, now we've all grown up together, you know, these past couple years here. What's one thing that you guys are going to miss? These two. Yeah, oh, two honestly, two, I would say like the Jern family, faculty and students too. Everybody's become so close. Uh, I've never experienced anything like this. It's amazing. Like, Gonna miss it a lot. Yeah. Really gonna miss Mike and Bob always giving me inputs on their stories. And I mean, I know they're over there standing, like expecting me to say something nice, but seriously, they, I would not be where I am without them. None of my stories would be even remotely close to as good as they ended up being. So I'm really gonna miss those guys. All right, we're all gonna miss each other. Let's get one more flash of your bling. Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> all right, back to you guys at the desk. Congratulations, guys. Moving on, scholarships by the Detroit Free Press and the Detroit News were established by the papers to further the field of outstanding journalism. Chandra Fleming was this year's Detroit Free Press winner. Chandra Fleming became a state news reporter as a freshman at MSU. She loves being a storyteller, saying words have power, and loves when her words matter. The Detroit Free Press, new, the Detroit Free News the Detroit Free Press News Scholarship goes to Megan Molly. Megan is an incoming freshman from Mercy High School, where she is Associate Editor-in-Chief of the school newspaper. Here's what faculty said about this year's news and Free Press winners. I'm proud to announce that Chandra Fleming is this year's winner of the Detroit Free Press Scholarship. It's a perfect fit for her because she's passionate about the city and telling stories of the people who live there. In my classes, she's proven herself to be an ambitious, committed writer who wants to do impactful work. Congratulations, Chandra. I hope this helps you soar. After 58 years of covering the biggest and smallest names in athletics, the only name truly synonymous with Detroit sports was Joe Falls. He started off as a copy boy at the Associated Press Brew in New York before transferring to Detroit in 1953, only to be hired in at the Detroit Times in 1956. He moved to the Detroit Free Press in 1960 and started as a sports columnist at the Detroit News in 1978. In the spring of 2004, he was inducted into the Michigan Journalism Hall of Fame. The Joe Falls Detroit News Memorial Scholarship was set up in honor of Joe. The recipient of the Joe Falls Detroit News Memorial Scholarship is J Jaina Bardal. Jaina Bardal is not only the winner of the Joe Falls Memorial Scholarship, but a National Hearst Award winner and state news sports editor. Here's what Joanne Gerstner has to say about Jaina. Congratulations, Jaina Bardal, for winning the Joe Falls Detroit News Scholarship. That is an amazing accomplishment. You should be very proud. You have done lovely work this year, both as a sports editor of the State News and also covering Michigan State men's basketball, which I know has been challenging in this time of COVID, but you showed grace, you showed absolute resilience, and that will take you so far. I look forward to seeing where you're going in the future, and congratulations. The third Mary Adelaide Gardner Scholarship goes to Andrew Ross. Andrew is a capital reporter for the Michigan Advance and a political reporter for the Flint Beat. He revived his high school paper after it had been dormant for years. Last year, he was recognized by the Washington Post as the best political reporter in Michigan. Professor Judy Walgren had this to say about Andrew. 
Congratulations to Andrew Roth for receiving multiple awards this year from the School of Journalism. Andrew is not only an exceptional reporter and writer, but also visual storyteller, being as good at writing stories as he is making still photos and also video. Andrew's been working professionally as a journalist since he came to the School of Journalism at MSU and is a source of inspiration not only for his fellow classmates, but professors as well. Congratulations, Andrew, for these prestigious awards. Andrew Roth is joining me live to talk about his scholarship award and his life at MSU. Now you've had a lot of accomplishments like being recognized by the Washington Post, but let's talk about another moment that's really resonated with you. Yeah, you know, I've had a lot of, uh, like you mentioned, a lot of really cool experiences in the past year especially. Um, you know, last year specifically, I got to be in uh, two different vice president's motorcades, so that was really cool. Uh, Mike Pence at the beginning of the year, Kamala Harris on election day, and I also had my first story published on uh, 1A of the Detroit News, so uh, a lot of really cool experiences. Right, well, you're a political reporter. You've got all things politics going on for you here. But um, tell me, Andrew, so um, I guess tell me, what are you going to hope to do as your last year at Michigan State? Yeah, well, you know, I'm going to uh, continue covering politics, of course. We have, uh, you know, a, a highly contested midterm election coming up. And, uh, of course, focusing on school as well, uh, which, you know, I'll be able to do with a lot less stress now, thanks to the uh, awesome donors and whatnot for the scholarship. So thank you to them. And thank you, of course, to all my professors and awesome editors and parents and everyone who has supported me, helped me have those awesome experiences. All right. Well, congratulations on your award again. And back to you guys. Thank you so much. Kappa Tau Alpha is a national honor society for journalism students. Founded in 1910 by faculty at the University of Missouri in order to form a bond between students of high academic achievement. Their Greek letters stand for knowledge, truth, and accuracy. They are three inductees this year. Kaylee Connors is, an East, is a Lansing State Journal editorial assistant and WKAR editing intern. She's focused on international reporting and wants to be a human rights reporter or war correspondent. Kyle Davidson, who we've heard from already earlier tonight. And Maisie Nielsen serves as a staffer for Big Ten Network Student U and Spartan Vision. Here's what the faculty are saying about these students. Hi, Kaylee Connors. Yes, you have a 3.9 GPA, ranking you at the top of your J school class. As a result, you are one of this year's Cavita Alpha Honor Society inductees. And what's really cool is that you have a minor in Russian. What's also really cool is that you're an editorial assistant at the LSJ and an editing intern at WKR. You say that you love, love media and one day you're going to be a war correspondent or a human rights reporter. I can't wait. Congrats. Congratulations to Maisie Nielsen. You are a shining light in the classroom of intelligence, depth of thought, and you're always so into helping others become their best. Your ideas are fantastic, and I always enjoy your thought process. You make everyone around you better, and I appreciate everything that you've done all year, and I'm so glad to see you rewarded with these honors. Congrats. Cavito Alpha is also honoring their top graduate student scholars. This award is presented to students who achieve the highest grade point average in the chapter. This year, there are two recipients. Tasia Bass is our first honoree. We've already heard from her as our outstanding master's student. Waiting Do is our next honoree. His career highlights include a visual journalism paper accepted by the 34th Visual Communication Conference and working for Project Resist stating that it broadened his understanding of visual and health communication. Let's hear what faculty are saying about these two top scholars. I am very happy to introduce Tasia Bass as this year's Kappa Tau Alpha top graduate scholar. Tasia's journey is started with the brave decision to combine journalism and comedy to explain complex issues related to race, law, and policy. Her critical skills, her level of deep thinking and her work ethics have made her a model for all graduate students in our programs. Congratulations, Stasia, for an amazing journey. Congrats, Waiting Do, on receiving an award for being a top scholar at MSU. If I had to describe Waiting, it would be curious. He 
He intellectually explores journalism through several different lenses, including the visual, the environment, and different methodological approaches, including both quantitative and qualitative. Congrats on all that you have accomplished. Our Kappa Tau Alpha top undergraduate scholar is Daniel Zivian for having the highest GPA in the chapter. Daniel Zivian's highlights include co-anchoring for the show Beaumont Bulletin and serving as the spokesman for the National Kindy Foundation of Michigan. Here's Professor Joy Visconti. As a former Kappa Tau Alpha top scholar here in the J School, it is my pleasure to introduce Daniel Zivian for this honor. Daniel was a student in my Journalism 200 class in the spring of 2020, and he started the course as a strong writer and student. But what impressed me most was his curiosity and the care he took in telling a story that would inform and engage his reader. Congratulations, Daniel, on this accomplishment. Our fourth Mary Adelaide Gardner Scholarship goes to Kyle Davidson. Kyle has just been recognized as a newly inducted member of Kappa Tau Alpha and earlier with the Dahlstrom Scholarship. Here's Professor Amy Hamroll's tribute. Kyle Davidson, I'm so pleased that you're one of this year's Mary Adeline Gardner Scholarship winners. I'm actually friends with her granddaughter and was able to tell her what kind of journalists they're able to support. I told them you have a nose for news and a compassionate heart. I know you're going to go far in this business. Congratulations. Kyle Davidson is here now live with us. Okay, so you're finishing your journalism major this year and then you're finishing your poli sci major next year. How are you planning on intertwining the two? Well, I've always loved elections and politics. I've been a big nerd for that for as long as I can remember. Right so up your alley. Exactly. I figure I might as well top off a couple years of election reporting and political journalism experience with a little bit of practical knowledge. Well, geez, okay, you've got a lot of <laughs> ambition. So what are your future goals look like? Well, I mean, for the future, you know, I just, as for the next year of school, I think I'm just looking to finish up and gather a couple of skills, you know, photojournalism, editing, search engine optimization, you know, basic industry stuff. After that, I'm hoping to cover the Capitol in Lansing and up and over from there. All right, Kyle. Well, I hope to see you doing some big things in the future. Best of luck to you and back to you guys. MSU alum Dr. Mickey Edwardson established our next scholarship in memory and recognition of environmental lawyer James Lawrence Fly. Fly was the general solicitor and counsel of the Tennessee Valley Authority, which has improved the environment and given citizens access to more affordable energy in seven states. The award is given to outstanding master's and PhD students studying environmental science communication with the Knight Center. This year's winners of the Mickey L. Edwardson Award are Apoorva Joshi and Marie Ortenberger. We've already talked about Apoorva, and we'll hear from her again later, too. In addition to winning the Edwardson Scholarship, Marie Ortenberger is a communication specialist for the Land Conser Conservancy of Western Michigan and Grand Rapids, as well as an assistant editor and reporter for the Great Lakes Echo. Here's what faculty had to say about Marie. Marie Ordenberger has chased woodland fairies and fingernail clams through Michigan's vernal pools. And she even has captured the Milky Way at the site of Michigan's International Dark Sky Park. Nowadays, Marie is such an integral part of the Great Lakes Echo editing and social media team that we hate to lose her. Marie, don't leave us, but congratulations on this award. Up next is the Winthrop Faulkner Award. MSU J School alum James Faulkner and his wife established this scholarship in honor of James's father, Winthrop, to encourage students to follow the advice Winthrop gave to his son and get an education. This year's winner of the Winthrop Faulkner Award is Tara Meeson. Meeson is thrilled to be the winner of the Broadcast Education Association, Association's Best in Festival Award for her work on her multimedia project, American Hurt, Vietnam Veterans, Portraits and Perspectives, as well as the winner of two Julia Margaret Cameron Awards. Congratulations, Tara. Here's Professor Howard Balson with a tribute. I first met Tara at MSU nearly 20 years ago. Missing from MSU for 15 or so years, she pursued a career in teaching and developed her own photography business. In 2017, Tara returned to get her MA and now her PhD. 
always finding engaging ways through, through humor and deep knowledge of the subject she is teaching, Tara has become one of the J School's most valued teaching assistants. Congratulations, Tara. Many of the students in the School of Journalism also won scholarships from the College of Communication, Arts and Sciences. We honor those students now. In 1989, the Gannett Foundation established this scholarship in hopes of encouraging Hispanic students to study journalism and to encourage diversity in the field of journalism. This year's winner of the Gannett Hispanics in Journalism Scholarship is Devin Anderson Torres. Anderson Torres is the winner of this award, as well as the winner of 12 Michigan Press Association Awards for Writing and Design, including two first place awards for writing. He also serves as a sports writer and culture editor for the State News. Congratulations, Devin. Here's Julie Walgren to tell us more. Congratulations to Devin Anderson Torres for winning this very prestigious scholarship. Devin is a reporter and a writer, but also an up and coming photojournalist. And it's been a, it's been a complete pleasure getting to know him in the course of the last few months. I hope to see him in many classes to come and look forward to seeing where Devin lands upon graduation. Again, Devin, congratulations for winning this award. This next scholarship is awarded in honor of Robert Godfrey, a 1947 MSU grad. Godfrey worked in journalism for 33 years, working as both a radio and television reporter and editor, as well as in radio station management. The award is given to students of high academic achievement who are leaders in their extracurricular groups. Jack Harrison is this year's Godfrey Scholarship winner. In addition to winning the Godfrey Award, Harrison has also been elected as, ASM, as ASMSU's General Assembly Representative and serves as a staff writer and reporter for the East Lansing Info. To tell us more about Jack, here's Professor Lucinda Davenport. Let me tell you about Jack Harrison. This is a book of who's who of international politics. Unfortunately, maybe, there are no other names because this volume is filled of Jack's accomplishments. For example, Jack has our elected position of the college representative to ASMSU. Jack has already got stories published in the local media. Jack is already a staff reporter for East Lansing Info. And most of all, Jack keeps Dr. Davenport on her toes while in class. We all look forward, Jack, to volume two of Jack's Who's Who. And now we will honor Madison O'Connor as our outstanding senior. Madison was selected by the School of Journalism faculty for this prestigious honor. Madison is the editor-in-chief of the State News and was lead reporter on MSU's administration and the Larry Nassar criminal investigation. Under her leadership, the State News won two pacemaker awards, which are considered the Pulitzer Prize for student journalism. She's graduating with degrees in journalism and experience architecture. Professor Hammerall had these words for Madison. I take that back, I'm sorry. But now Madison is live in the newsroom with Taylor Gatoni. We'll go to Taylor. Now Madison jo joins me live with her reaction to being named Outstanding Senior. Now you really are outstanding. You covered a hard news story, the Larry Nassar investigation. Most people would have a really hard time covering that. How has that helped you improve as a journalist? 
Yeah, I was covering all of that when I was pretty young. It was my freshman, sophomore year. Wow. Um, and I was doing that for the state news. And um, it really, you know, I was very much thrown into the fire. Obviously, it was a very much staff wide and even journalism school wide uh, something that we covered. Um, but it definitely taught me how to be a journalist very quickly, you know, being in the courtroom, being at press conferences, talking to survivors, um, having that real world experience. I, you know, nothing could have prepared me better and to right, be a journalist. With the state news, you've had great success with that too. You had a big role being the editor in chief. What were some of the most challenging yet rewarding things about being in this position? Yeah, I mean, I was editor in chief last year. Um, I absolutely loved it. One of the most rewarding things that I've done during my time at MSU. Um, but it was, it did come with its challenges, especially when we had to make the shift to totally remote work. Um, that was absolutely a challenge that we had to face. Um, I'm so proud of the staff that we were able to do that and uh, kudos to the state news staff now for continuing to do things while we're all remote. Well, congratulations and well done on your accomplishments. Back to you guys. Thanks, Taylor. The next scholarship is the Bob Gross Memorial Scholarship. Bob Gross was a sports reporter for the Lansing State Journal who died in an accident early in his career. It is given to incoming freshmen who have been admitted to Michigan State and have demonstrated interest in journalism. This year's winners are Zachariah Serdinick and Sarah Tidwell. Serdinick is a sports journalism major who has a lifelong love of sports and plans to combine sports journalism and broadcasting to tell the stories that will change lives. Tidwell is also a sports journalism and reporter with the State News. She says that being a woman in the sports reporting field is unmatchable. Here's what faculty said about both recipients. Hi, I'm introducing Sarah Tidwell, winner of our Bob Gross Memorial Scholarship. Sarah's a hardworking reporter for the State News. She's covered a lot of beats. She's really focused on sports right now. I see her reporting come through on Twitter all the time. So congratulations, Sarah. Zach Serdenik has been busy since he started at MSU in the fall as a freshman. He's carrying on his passion for sports journalism as a member of the team at Impact 89 FM. Zach didn't have a student newspaper to work on at his high school, so he started covering sports for local professional media. We're excited to see him continue to develop his career. Congratulations. The Wanda J. Herndon Scholarship was established by Wanda Herndon, a native of Flint, Michigan, a member of the J School Professional Advisory Council and a distinguished alumnus of MSU. She established the scholarship to provide assistance for students from her hometown and the surrounding areas to benefit from the MSU J School education. This year, there are two winners, Stephanie McCollum and Kennedy Walters. Stephanie McCollum is a first-generation college student. She is the social media chair of the MSU chapter of the National Association of Black Journalists, which won Student Chapter of the Year at the NABJ Awards. Kennedy is currently the Black Students Alliance Communications Director at MSU. Kennedy is also a winner of the Glenn and Thelma Buell Scholarship. Here's what faculty have to say about these two Herndon Scholarship winners. Stephanie McCullum is awesome. Stephanie was the only person in freshman class chosen to cover a preseason NBA game. Stephanie is active in the state and national chapters of Awesome, the Association for Women in Sports Media. She has done digital marketing and social media at Fresh Perspectives Seminars and is social media chair for the MSU chapter of the National Association of Black Journalists. Fun fact, MSU's student chapter was named NABJ's Student Chapter of the Year for 2020. It is a pleasure to introduce to you Kennedy Walters. I've had the pleasure of working with Kennedy in both print design and print graphics class, where her boundless creativity has been uh, on display in both design and graphics, which has just been a pleasure to watch flourish. Uh, Kennedy is a entrepreneur. She owns her own business called Fluid Creations, and she that takes um, a lot of initiative and a lot of self-starting, which is a not a surprise. Uh, having seen Kennedy's work, knowing what a self-starter she is. Um, she is an active member of the Black Students Alliance, where she's the communications director and a part of the second edition of the Black Book Initiative. She is also an active member of the MSU student chapter of the National Association of Black Journalists. Uh, Kennedy also uh, acquired her first, earned her first internship opportunity this summer, 
and it is a pleasure to watch Kennedy's uh, visual journalism skills flourish, and I just can't wait to see where it takes her when she comes back next year for her senior year. So with that, congratulations, Kennedy. Former editor of the Daily Tribune, William Howell, was notorious for holding his reporters to strict standards of fairness and objectivity. This next award, established by William Howell, Howell in memory of his parents, is given to the MSU undergrad who writes the best essay examining media bias. This year's best essay was written by Kiana Donaldson. Donaldson is a media and marketing intern for MSU Center for Anti-Counterfeiting and Product Protection, as well as a mentor with Shiloh Girls, an organization that helps prepare students in Detroit for high school and college. Congratulations, Kiana. Dr. Rachel Moreau has more on Kiana in her award-winning essay. I am very happy to introduce this year's Howell Essay Award winner, Kiana Donaldson. Kiana is an excellent writer, and her essay highlights one of the critical issues we face today, the anti-vax movement and political propaganda. Congratulations, Kiana. The next award is Kyle Kerbaway, is the Kyle Kerbaway Scholarship. Kerbaway was the editor of the State News and graduated from the Jay School in 1967. He went on to earn his MBA in 1969 and established this scholarship to provide financial assistance to journalism graduate students to help support their research. We have two winners of the Kerbaway Scholarship this year. Congratulations to Su Jiang Kim and Indri Ma Lidar. Su Jiang Kim has won the Kerbaway Award for her graduate research. Kim has research interests in political polarization, social media, algorithms, political communication, and women's issues. She is also a freelance journalist for Candlelight Vigils. Indri Maladar has already been recognized for another scholarship. Congratulations once again. Here's what faculty had to say about Su Jung Kim. Su Jung Kim is a master's student. You are such a pleasure to have in class, and I have had great fun reading your research. This is a box filled with gifts. It represents the many gifts that you have that make you special and a success. For example, you took a chance coming to MSU from South Korea. You write great research. You care about family and others, and you make great grades. And because South Korea is 13 hours ahead of us, you got up in the wee hours of the morning to attend all of our evening classes. You, Su Jung, have many gifts. Congratulations. Our fifth and final Mary Adelaide Gardner Scholarship winner is Haley Sinclair. Haley's accomplishments include being the user experience designer for Vim Magazine, former news director for Impact 89 FM Radio, and multimedia editor for the State News. Professor Richard Epps shares some words about Haley. Hi everyone, I'm Haley. I'd like to thank the J School for choosing me as a scholarship recipient this year. This scholarship will help me continue reporting with those that make my college experience worth it. Throughout my college career, I've traveled to Europe on a study abroad at the hand of photojournalism and spent many memorable hours dedicated to what I love doing at the State News and at Impact. I want to thank all my past editors and my present colleagues for sticking with me through thick and thin. I'd also like to thank Judy Walgren and Howard Bossen for displaying their commitment to visual storytelling as an example in and outside the classroom. I'd like to thank Professor Epps for his overwhelming support and encouragement throughout my time here at MSU as he's helped me realize my self-worth as a student journalist and how to advocate for other student journalists as well and to above all seek out a career path that works with me. My thanks and appreciation to the J School for all that they do. Thank you. Our next award is the John H. Creek Memorial Scholarship in Newspaper Journalism. This award was established by friends and colleagues of John Creek, a 1982 J School graduate after he died in an apartment fire in 1984. Krieg worked for a variety of small and mid-sized daily newspapers in Michigan, including new editor of the Morning Sun in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. He worked for the, for the State News as a copy editor and won numerous writing awards during his time at MSU. This year, there are three recipients. 
Sophia Kalikalo is the first recipient. Her college highlights include receiving the Donald and Annette Heal Scholarship and serving as the audience engagement editor at the State News. Sophia Lada is the second winner of the scholarship. We've already talked about Sophia winning the Bill Cote and Dahlstrom scholarships. Peyton Wells is the third winner. Peyton Wells' accomplishments include winning the Stan Soften Scholarship as well as being a reporting intern for the Detroit Metro Times. Here's what faculty have to say about the Krieg Scholarship Award winners. Congratulations to Sophia Calico. Uh, Sophia is not only a print journalist who has been killing it at the State News, uh, she's audience engagement editor where she is really uh, up their game where social media is concerned. And she's also excited to have a new podcast on Impact Radio for the Latinx community where she is gonna focus on Latinx community issues and uh, music as well. Congratulations, Sophia. Peyton Wells works. Peyton is majoring in journalism and earning a minor in law and philosophy. She has worked for the Detroit Free Press, the UAW Ford National Program Center, U.S. Rep. Alyssa Slatkin, and has spent nine months working with the Detroit Metro Times. Peyton is on the executive board of the MSU chapter of the National Association of Black Journalists. Fun fact, Peyton worked for the Free Press before she started college. Our next award is the W. Cameron Myers Fellowship Fund Scholarship. This award was created in honor of W. Cameron Myers, a longtime newspaper reporter and editor who taught at the J School from 1952 to 1974. A member of the Michigan Journalism Hall of Fame, students were impacted by Professor Myers' demands for excellence, memorable anecdotes, and views of the world. This year, there are two recipients. Drew Goretzka is the first winner. Goretzka is a member of the Michigan Army National Guard and currently serving overseas at Camp Bonsteel in Kosovo. At MSU, he serves as the Vice President of Marketing for Spartan Blockchain Solutions. Vidalia Wenslick is the second winner. Wenslick is a staffer at Impact 89 FM Radio, the student radio station at Michigan State, and she says her proudest moment was being accepted to MSU. Here's what faculty have to say about the Myers Scholarship recipients. Congratulations to Drew Goretzka. And Drew, uh, you're 4,915 miles away from us from this very spot that I'm standing in, and I can't wait till you're back in the newsroom. Uh, Drew is currently at Camp Bond Steel in Kosovo. Uh, here at Michigan State, he's killing it as a student and as a member of the Michigan National Army Guard. So uh, he's an outstanding student who gets the best possible marks, and he's also a wonderful uh, student journalist who wants to go into marketing and public relations. Congratulations, Drew. Our next award is the Robert Popa Scholarship. Robert Popa was a 1953 graduate of the J School after launching his career as a copy editor at the Oakland Press. He served a two-year military stint at Stars and Stripes before working as a reporter for the Detroit News. Popa also served as the first press secretary to Detroit Mayor Coleman Young and Michigan Press Secretary for the Carter Mondale campaign. This scholarship was established by his friends following his death in 1989. This year, there are two winners for the Robert Popa Scholarship. Carly Graham is the first winner of the scholarship. Graham also received the State News Board of Directors Scholarship and serves as the campus desk editor for the State News. Maisie Nielsen is the second winner, and we've already mentioned Maisie as she is being inducted into Kappa Tau Alpha Honor Society. Here's what faculty have to say about Carly Graham. Congratulations, Carly Graham, on being the winner of this year's Robert Popa Scholarship. In my feature writing class, you've proven yourself to be a thoughtful and diligent writer one that other students want to turn to for help. Thank you for creating such a great environment and I can't wait to see where your career goes. Congratulations. Next is the Gordon A. Saving Endowed Journalism Scholarship. Named and donated by Dr. Robert Saving and his wife, Ellen, Dr. Saving was the first dean of the MSU College of Communication Arts and Sciences. With a career as a newspaper reporter, editor, and educator, he stressed the importance of education for journalism. He was also served as the Vice President for Special Projects at MSU. This year's winner is Linda White. White was voted by her peers to become the President of the Association of Doctoral Students in Information and Media. Her research interests include studying racial diversity in television news and building a better television news product. Here's Professor Esther Thorson with a tribute. I'm proud to introduce Linda White to you. I first met Linda 
four years ago when she came here to interview. I was struck by her passion for wanting to learn more and understand how local television news affected people. I also was struck by her wonderful sense of humor. Every day she greets everybody by saying happy whatever day it is. Happy Monday, happy Tuesday, happy Wednesday. Always puts a, a little bit of a sparkle into our days. And she also calls all of us professors Dr. our first name. So I'm Dr. Esther and there's Dr. Rachel and Dr. Tim and it's it's a very southern thing that she has going there. That's from her years of being a TV reporter in Alabama. Anyway, congratulations, Linda. We now move to the spectacular PhD student. You've heard her name already, Apoorva Joshi. And although she couldn't join us live tonight, she made up for it by sending in a video. Here's Apoorva, along with Professor Bruno Takahashi. We apologize that we weren't able to run outstanding senior Madison O'Connor's video when she came in for her interview. So we'd like to run that now. Here's Professor Amy Heimerow. The next award is the Lawrence and Linda Sims Scholarship in Journalism. This scholarship was created for students interested in journalism and wants to honor their family legacy by supporting MSU students from their home community of Saginaw, Michigan. The winner of this year's scholarship is Jason Laflo. Jason is a prospective freshman from H.H. H. Dow High School. He is editor-in-chief of the up of the Update student newspaper and helped revive their school broadcast program, leading him to win numerous awards from the Michigan Interscholastic Press Association. Here's Professor Jeremy Steele with a tribute to Jason. Jason Laplow is a senior at H.H. H. Dow High School in Midland. He's the editor of the student newspaper and helped lead the revival of the school's broadcast program after nearly a decade's absence. His work has been honored by the Michigan Interscholastic Press Association, and he's a member of MIFA's student journalist staff of the state's top high school journalists. We're looking forward to Jason joining the School of Journalism as a freshman in the fall. Congratulations. The Soften Scholarship honors former J School director and ombudsman Stan Soften. Stan is a member of the Michigan Journalism Hall of Fame and was director at the MSU J School for 16 years. This scholarship is awarded to a full-time student who performed volunteer community service and demonstrated potential talent and aptitude in journalism by earning at least a 3.0 in Jern 200 and 300. There are two recipients of the Soften Scholarship Award this year. Our first recipient is Focal Point's very own Katie Schroeder. Katie Schroeder's accomplishments include being the co-winner of the SPJ Award for Television In-Depth Reporting and being nominated for MSU Student Employee of the Year for her role as the Comartside Street Team Student Coordinator. We've already mentioned this other Stan Soften Scholarship winner, Peyton Wells, for also winning the Craig Scholarship. Congrats once again to her. And now, here are some kind words from Gina D. Allen. Hi, Katie. Congratulations. Dr. Soffin was known as a leader and an educator, and someone who empowered others. Through your work on the street teams, your internships, and the countless hours that you've spent in the School of Journalism, you've lived up to the ideals that were so important to his legacy. Thank you for everything you've done to share knowledge and mentor your peers. Congratulations, I'm so proud of you. Congratulations, Katie, great job, girl. Thanks, Sade. The Spaniolo Scholarship honors Victor G. Spaniolo, a graduate of Michigan State University. Spaniolo, along with his four children, who also graduated from MSU, all worked at the State News. 
Hispaniolo was a founding member and chair of the board of directors at the State News, and his family established this scholarship in memory of their father. The winner of this award this year is Annie Barker. During her time at MSU, Barker won first place as the Michigan Press Association's Best College Photographer and third place as the Michigan Press Photographer Association's College Photographer of the Year. Here's what faculty have to say about Annie. Congratulations to Annie Barker for receiving these prestigious scholarships. Annie is not only a fabulous writer, but she's a fantastic photojournalist, and it's been a complete pleasure getting to know her over the course of our time together here at MSU. I have no doubt that Annie will go far when she graduates, and I hope that we remain in touch over the course of our lifetimes. Once again, congratulations, Annie. I'm so proud of you. The next award is the Stone Boyd Student Opportunity Scholarship. The Stone Boyd Student Opportunity Scholarship is named after Robin D. Stone, a 1986 graduate of the School of Journalism, with a career serving as an editor for the New York Times, the Boston Globe, and the Detroit Free Press. Stone hopes this scholarship will be given to students who have shown leadership skills in the face of adversity, overcome obstacles, or interest in promoting cross-cultural understandings this year. There are two award recipients. Janelle James is an administration reporter for the State News and is a former home TV intern. James volunteers for One Mother to Another, which helps donate clothes and feed the homeless every Saturday at a barbecue. Along with being a recipient of the Stone Boyd Scholarship, Angela Solomon is a recipient of the William R. Jenkins Scholarship and an e-board member to the Black Student Alliance Board. Here's what faculty have, to, faculty have to say about these two Stone Boyd Scholarship winners. Janelle James. I noticed in my class, when Janelle has a story idea, she builds on it. She builds on it by asking question after question after question after question until she has the complete story that answers all fit together. Janelle has also worked on building her career. She's worked for home TV. She's been a reporter at the State News. She's been an officer at NABJ, which won National Chapter of the Year, and she started her own political podcast. Janelle is full of surprises, and we cannot wait to see what she does next. Congratulations, Janelle. Congratulations, Angela Solomon. One of the beautiful things about Angela as a student journalist is that she's totally devoted to speaking for people who have no voice. And she's already been working on projects that tried to do that. One of the projects uh, involved senior citizens in Ann Arbor. And in that uh, area, some of those people were displaced from their homes because of their race and driven from neighborhoods. And Angela is trying to tell their stories. And she's also working on a project involving foster children. She also has a 3.8 grade point. Congratulations, Angela. The next award is the Albert Applegate Scholarship. Albert Applegate is considered by many to be the Dean of Michigan Journalism Educators. Dr. Applegate served as the Chairman of the School of Journalism from 1936 to 1955. By the time he retired, he developed friendships with nearly every editor and publisher in Michigan. Dr. Applegate is a member of the Michigan Journalism Hall of Fame. Ian Gilmore is the winner of this scholarship. Gilmore recently won first place in television PSA category from the Michigan Association of Broadcasters. He also won seventh place in the National Hearst Awards in the television news category. Here's what Professor Durang Gerstner had to say about Ian. Congratulations to Ian Gilmore. I am so happy that you got this scholarship. You truly deserve it. I always enjoy having you in class because I always know that there'll be somebody there that will be up for a good European soccer discussion. So we are kindred spirits in that thing, even though you like the EPL and I like the, the German League. But the biggest thing I want to say to you is chase your dreams and I know that you will have success in what you do because you're working so hard. So congratulations. We've recognized all the Mary Adelaide Gardner Scholarship winners, but several of our students have been named Mary Gardner Scholars. The Mary Gardner Scholars are the School of Journalism's most outstanding seniors based on grade point. They will wear special medallions at graduation. The Mary Gardner Top Scholars are the students with the highest grade point. 
This year's Mary Gardner Scholars are. Not, not only is Elena Angelo of, uh, Ang Angelo a Mary Gardner Scholar, but she is also editor-in-chief of Vim Magazine. Elena is beginning a master's degree in marketing research. The next Mary Gardner Scholar, Emily Bavard, is a gifted storyteller and state news reporter who enjoys writing in-depth enterprise stories. Taylor Halterman is a name we've heard a few times tonight for other scholarships. She has won. She has won. Congrats again to her. Sue A. Lee is the next Mary Gardner Scholar who enjoys being a journalism major, especially when obtaining exclusive interviews. Sue A. says that news is like a window when people open it. They will learn about the outside world. It is also like a bridge. People connect and care about each other through it. Leah Mitchell is a Mary Gardner Scholar whose accomplishments include a first place regional win in the Society of Pre Professional Journalists Mark of Excellence, as well as being a finalist for the Society of Professional Journalists Mark of Excellence. Our next scholar is Gloria Noble. And she was named a Mary Gardner Scholar, a double major in journalism and studio art with a minor in animation and comic storytelling, as well as a public relations officer of MSU's Animosity since 2018. And Elena Schklar, named a Mary Gardner Scholar as well, played Big Ten Volleyball for MSU for three years and an honors college student who graduated in just three years. Our next scholar, Allie Telfor, is the president of the MSU chapter of PRSSA. Allie is a passionate freelance reported devoted to making community members in her hometown understand all issues related to COVID-19. Our last Mary Gardner Scholar is Emily Towns. Emily is the senior producer for MSU's award-winning broadcast Focal Point News and has a minor in musical theater. She's here tonight producing this show for all of you. Let's hear what these faculty have to say about these Mary Gardner Scholars. It is my pleasure to introduce to you Elena Agnello. Elena has served as the editor-in-chief for Vim Magazine this year, which is the campus student-run fashion magazine that comes out twice a year and as well as keeping up their vibrant website. Uh, Elena uh, helped lead her team through creating a magazine during a pandemic and had the pleasure of speaking her with her about it and she explained not only the, the uh, significant steps they took to maintain social distancing and keep everybody safe but still be able to create a fashion magazine. Uh, we also spoke about her belief in making sure that body positivity was a major component of their coverage. And as she uh, succinctly but eloquently said, everyone wears clothes, which means everyone should be included in a fashion magazine. And I just was impressed by her, uh, her mature and uh, diverse outlook on that topic. Uh, it's wonderful to know that she'll be continuing her education here as she pursues her master's degree at Michigan State starting in the fall. So she also, I had the pleasure of seeing her just excel in design in her in the Journalism 336 class, which is publication design, where she designed a fantastic fashion magazine for her magazine design project, uh, taking some of her uh, experiences from her internship last summer in New York City and turning it into a wonderful fashion magazine. So with that, it's just been a pleasure getting to know you this year, Elena, and watching you uh, continue, continue to flourish as a visual journalist, and congratulations to you. Hi, Emily. So several semesters ago, I was overhearing a conversation that you were having with one of your classmates and you were talking about, mm, I don't know if I want to be a journalist, but check it out. Emily Babard, the state news publishing every day. Okay, every other day in the state news. I'm so excited that you gave reporting a chance because you are such a good writer and a journalist. Congratulations. This semester, Zue Lee in my Journalism 300 Public Affairs Reporting class has submitted all of her stories, plus a bonus story, quoting at least three sources using at least three different media to tell each story. She leads the class in a number of sources and she's done all of this reporting while traveling. She moved last month from East Lansing to her home in China. Can't tell you enough. I am so proud of you, Zoe. Congrats. Congratulations, Leah. It's been great seeing your progress starting from last fall in Journ 403 all the way through Focal Point. It's just amazing to see your growth and in what you've done as a storyteller. Uh, it's awesome that you've won this award. Yeah, and you've done it all by juggling also with gymnastics. I mean, the three-time MVP, uh, Big Ten, person to watch, but are you as good as me on the balance beam? <laughs> 
Congratulations again, and uh, we look forward to seeing you next year in grad school and one more year on the gymnastics team. Congratulations, Leah. Congratulations to you, Gloria Noble, for being awarded this prestigious scholarship. Gloria is an outstanding student here at the School of Journalism, and we have no doubt that upon graduation, she will go out into the world and produce great things. Once again, Gloria, congratulations. Congratulations, Elena Sklar. Uh, you are the setter for the volleyball team, and not only have you been killing it on the court, but you've also been getting it done here at the J School as well. You are one of the J School's uh, top academic students, but you're also a wonderful student journalist. I'm really excited as you embark on a career, um, and I love that you're headed to grad school now. Congratulations, Elena. Hi, I want to introduce Allie Telfor, one of our Mary Gardner scholars. Allie worked really hard and showed a lot of persistence as a transfer student to Michigan State. And she's the president now of the Public Relations Student Society of America's MSU chapter, where she's been very communicative and a great leader for that group. So congratulations, Allie. The Mary Gardner Top Scholars are awarded to students of junior status with the highest grade point averages. These students have also held a professional level internship or worked in the state news. There are four students named Mary Gardner Top Scholars. Megan Castleberry is a transfer student whose goal was to come to MSU. Since transferring, Megan has been named a Mary Gardner Top Scholar and is a reporting contributor to several Michigan newspapers. The next top scholar is Sarah Peltz. Sarah is the Assistant Public Relations Director for Vim Magazine and a staff writer for her campus magazine. Michaela Stokes not only has been named a Mary Gardner Top Scholar, but also was accepted into the Social Science Scholars Program to concentrate on research. Being from South Florida, Michaela loves snow and lives for blizzards and snowflakes. Lucy Vangenmorder is the last Mary Gardner Top Scholar. Lucy's accomplishments include being a cultural desk reporter for the State News and a Vim Magazine reporter specializing in men's fashion. Let's hear from faculty about these Mary Gardner Top Scholars. Hello, Megan Castleberry was a student in my Journalism 200 class in the summer of 2020. She confidently navigated reporting and during a pandemic and produced some amazing work. I watched her grow in her confidence and her writing skills from beginning to end. I know that Mary Gardner would be proud at the way that she took corrections and edits and made her work better. Congratulations, Megan. Congrats to Sarah Pelt. She is one of the top grade points in the entire J School. She's a gifted multimedia reporter and writer, and she's created this beautiful blog where she helps people discover healthy, healthy eating and how to be happy because that's what you do. Congratulations, Sarah. I am pleased to introduce Michaela Stokes, a Mary Gardner top scholar. She's working on pre-law and journalism majors and uh, environment science and health reporting and also working on peace and justice. So we're proud of you, Michaela, and congratulations. Congratulations to Lucy Vangenmorder for this prestigious award. Lucy is an accomplished writer and also a visual storyteller, and she is very good at taking on stories that are often overlooked. Lucy approaches all of her work with intense creativity and determination, and we have no doubt that she will take this award and put it to good use. Congratulations, Lucy. You know what they say, maybe third, fourth time's a charm. Now we are finally ready to show you outstanding senior Madison O'Connor's tribute video and outstanding PhD Apoorva Joshi's acceptance speech. We apologize for not showing it earlier, but good things come to those who wait. I'm so excited to announce that Madison O'Connor is this year's outstanding senior. Maddie, I first met you when you came into my office your freshman year, a little bit scared and intimidated, but also ready to take on the world. Since then, you've grown and flourished. You were the editor of the State News. You won the prestigious Pulliam Fellowship, and I can't wait to see what's gonna happen for you next. Congratulations. Apur Vajashi is most deserving of this award because of her excellent scholarly work her contributions in helping solve the problem of wildlife trafficking, and her continuous support to her colleagues, friends, and family. It has been an honor to work with Apurva for the last several years. Congratulations. Hello, 
My name is Apurva Joshi, and I am so grateful for this award and for the immense faith and confidence that the School of Journalism faculty has shown in me. Um, I'd like to thank my advisor, Dr. Takahashi, who has been um, a teacher, a mentor, a kind and patient listener, and just an all-round wonderful person. Um, I'd like to also thank the amazing mentors that I found at the Knight Center and among faculty members. I am so fortunate to have um, a guidance committee, um, professors and colleagues and friends at JERN who have helped me grow and pushed me to do work that I am so proud of. Um, as I think about my life as a professional in the near future, I'm confident that not only will my work measure up to the highest, most rigorous of standards, but also that I'll carry the relationships that I've developed here at MSU with me for life. To our wonderful faculty, thank you for always keeping your doors open, for being kind, warm, approachable, empathetic, funny, and so inspiring. And finally, I owe immense gratitude to my partner and our families who have shown <laughs> spectacular strength, patience, and love as I have been a sleep-deprived, moody, stressed out, anxious zombie for the last five years. I will be forever grateful to all of you for sticking with me and for your unshakable faith. So thank you once again, and I hope that you all have a safe and healthy summer and know that I miss seeing your smiling faces um, so much. So go green, and thank you very much. Our students in the School of Journalism are certainly appreciative of the awards and scholarships they've earned. I know I am. Let's hear from some of them. Oh, I'm Hannah Brock. My name is Kyle Davidson. My name is Kiana Donaldson. Shiama Lewis. It's Drew Gretzka. Leanne Tiffany. Katie Schroeder. And I am the Stan Sofin Endowed Scholarship Recipient this year. I want to thank you for choosing me to be the recipient of the Don Caldwell Memorial Scholarship. This year, I was grateful to be the recipient of the Robert Godfrey Scholarship. And I am the winner of the Walter and Serena Essay Contest. Donald F. and Catherine K. Dahlstrom Scholarship in Journalism. As a woman in journalism, I am so incredibly grateful to be awarded under a scholarship that honors a legendary woman such as Mary Gardner. I know that professors had to advocate for me and my work ethic and my character during the process, so that makes me just as proud. Thanks to my family and friends for their loving support. Thanks to the scholarship committee for choosing me to receive this scholarship. I just want to send a huge thank you and my deepest gratitude out to both the donors and the family. I'd like to thank the MSU Knight Center for Environmental Journalism for administering it. Thanks to your generosity, I can continue to expand on my journalist toolbox. It will be put to good use towards my education so that I can become a better filmmaker in the future. It will be used to help me to continue my graduate studies towards my master's education at Michigan State. This has brought so much positivity uh, to my semester and I'm very grateful. It's a true honor and really does mean the world, so thank you. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you and go green. Oh, wow, I'm hot. <laughs> we'd like to give a special thank you. We'd like to give special thank yous for work behind the scenes. First, Professor L.A. Dickerson as coordinating producer, helping with logistics, and most importantly, feeding the crew. <laughs> Professors Bob Gould and Mike Castellucci as advisory faculty for the on-air host and for overseeing the producing of the show. Production supervisor Matt McCullough and his crew for directing and providing all the technical assistance in this 10 camera shoot. Professor Rick Epps for creating all the graphics we use tonight. Brian Cush for his genius technology support and the journalism school administrator Barb Miller for organizing students to send in biographies, videos, and organizing all the awards. And one more thank you to all the students for their hard work and hard-earned awards. We hope you enjoyed our chance to celebrate these outstanding students. On behalf of the entire crew and our other hosts, Katie Schroeder, we hope you stuck around with us. I'm Reagan Holgate. And I'm Terry Maydoon. Have a great night, and we'll see you next year.